That's me, Mark. I've always been like the really awkward shy kid in class. Actually scratch that, I've always been awkward and shy anywhere I am. I always knew growing up that I didn't want a normal job like everybody else. I wanted to do something that stood out. And then I fell in love with filmmaking. This was me in 2020, which ended up being the best year of my life. And then this was me in 2021, which was an even better year of my life. So, what the fuck happened? Obviously you know the answer, but let's rewind for a second. After going to a film college for two years, which sadly ended due to that thing that happened in 2020, I bought my first ever camera and started just randomly filming stuff. After about a year, I grew my confidence through the freaking roof, so I knew I needed to do something. And then I heard about this thing called daily vlogging. What is up people of the internet? My name is Mark Harris and welcome to my vlog channel. That's right, I'm vlogging now. <laughs> Get to see more of me. I began my YouTube journey with a bulldozing mentality. I was gonna work my ass off to overtake this platform with entertaining, quick pace, outlandish and fresh new content. I wanted to conquer and destroy, sometimes actually destroy, everything in my path. The bigger, the faster, the louder, the better. I wanted to make noise. So, I did. Outside, outside, everything around me I created with my mind. And slowly, but surely, in my endless pursuit of more views and more subscribers, it was becoming more clear that the vlog mentality was getting out of hand. But I did not see that. The machine was beginning to take on a mind of its own. As my hunger for success was growing, so was my ego. The line for what was acceptable became more and more foggy, and the disrespect began to skyrocket. And it's not that I felt the rules didn't apply to me, I know they did, I just didn't care about the consequences. If I broke them, I didn't even consider them. But then it started to all go wrong. The stress and the pressure of daily vlogging in 2021 ruined me. I didn't know who I was anymore. And I was starting to have bad thoughts. Then in April 2022, I went to England. This changed my life 
forever. England was the perfect opportunity to really reflect on myself. I had time to think and also make content with my friends. I truly did feel at my happiest. It brought about a new sense of hope and a new determination. I didn't want to be remembered as the YouTube vlogger kid. I wanted more. Although being in England and still filming content, I truly, truly had to work on myself. And I did. Now, while finding peace in England, I did have the thought and which crossed my mind a couple of times while over there was, is a move to England a smart idea to help? I think filming with my friends really did help this and really did inspire me and just really helped motivate me more than what I had been. And I will say, England did change me, but it changed me for the better. I had more motivation than I have ever had in my entire life. And as time went on, I started to develop more motivation from different things. And different people. Now, I know in 2022 the vlogs were pretty slow and I did stop the daily vlogging, but that was mainly just due to the fact that I wanted to focus on me and I wanted to do more things rather than just vlogging. and England really helped me realise that. Now I'm not saying that England really helped me realise it, but I am saying that England helped me a bit more to realise it. But I did start to realise at the end of 2021, after doing 365 days of straight vlogs that year. I'm still young and I still have a lot to learn and by no means I'm saying that I'm perfect because at the end of the day no one is perfect and also by no means am I saying I'll never make another mistake again in my life I obviously will I'm still young and I still got a lot to learn I'm far from perfect and I'm nowhere near the man I want to be Now, one year later, and I can't say 2022 was the best year of my life, but I can absolutely say that this has been the most important year of my life. This year, and how I move forward, will forever define the type of man I am and the mission I'm on. I'm blessed to be able to do what I love, and I want to thank you for all your support. And if you're like me, and you're ever feeling low, like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, even if it is a fault of your own, just remember, it could always get worse. But it will always get better. Who knows, 2022 could be the best year of my life. I got a lot more to go. Peace. Peace.